And then you get this anaphylactic life-threatening reaction that sends you to the hospital, terrifying. Now you're afraid to eat anything because who knows what was causing it. Welcome everyone to Health Coach TV. I'm your host, Dr. Shauna Menard, and I am here with the amazing Rachel Bortrager. And she is something, someone that you definitely want to listen to. Uh, we've had her on before, but her practice has just uh, been booming. And when we uh, initially talked to her, she was coaching people uh, through uh, gut health and weight loss, uh, virtually in person. Uh, but now she has her own wellness center called Whole and Wellco in Plentywood, Montana. Uh, she's the mother of five kids, can you imagine? And we're going to check in with her and see what is she doing now? How did all that come about? And why is this uh, so attractive and intriguing? And, and what is this all about? So Rachel, fill us in a little bit on um, what is it that you do now? What's the core of what you do? So I'm going to, the core of what I do now is still gut health and weight loss for busy people. Um, I'm going to take you a little bit back to um, why I even started with this. So um, back even into my younger years of a childhood, I was obese and dyslexic. Um, and having the insecurity of like who I really was. And so fast forward a little bit to um, being a mom, I was working in traditional healthcare, um, doing call and life and kids. And um, as life has it, I ended up stepping back from the hospital. I found out who I was, got healthy, lost 70 pounds, and was realizing how much gut health is so important went on to school to be um, a certified holistic health coach. And in that process, coaching people, trying to figure out how to make entrepreneurship work. And then, um, like you said, things happen in life, a tragedy, so to speak. It's doing, my, my nephew had an anaphylactic reaction to um, dairy and going to specialists here and there, not really getting true help being the health coach that I am, my sister was like, I need some help. And so we found this doctor that looked at things differently. And I went with her, just sat on the sidelines asking questions. And he was like, I want to teach you to do what I do. So um, learn how to do electrodermal screening. And what that is, is finding where your body is balanced um, or out of balance, what's causing the out of balance, and then what to do about that and using targeted nutrition for what is out of balance. And we start with gut health. Yeah. yeah, it comes right back to gut health. And I remember you telling me the story of how this all came to be. So you had already been working as a health coach, helping busy moms lose weight, get a healthy gut, all that. And really a big proponent of how important um, health, the nutrition and the key aspects and all the other lifestyle aspects to having a healthy gut are. So you're kind of bipping and bopping along, minding your own business, successful in that, helping people. Um, and then this event happens. And then it was you sitting in the room with your sister and your nephew. And when you connected with this doctor and he's like, who are you? What is it that you do again? And, and, and you were saying like, was I asking too many questions? Uh, but that was actually because you were asking intelligent questions. And he's like, no, no, this is a good thing. Maybe I should teach you what I do. Because he was super busy with what he was doing. And to be able to narrow it down and really help. So how has this helped your nephew, for example? Was that a, a helpful thing? What was it that you saw was the change in your nephew? So imagine this, guys, you know, a, a, a little one, little one, they're eating you know about this allergy, you're staying away from that allergy or so you think, and then you get this anaphylactic, life-threatening reaction that sends you to the hospital, terrifying. Now you're afraid to eat anything because who knows what was causing it? Who knows what that was? We definitely don't want that to happen ever again. And it's a little kid, they're going to eat all sorts of things. So how do you know when you don't know what it is? And so uh, what was the what was helpful that this doctor was able to do 
and through through this thing and that now you do tell us a little bit about that yeah well i'm gonna tell you a little bit how it went so being um a little baby and doing electrodermal screening we do surrogate testing so we my sister had to get tested first and then she was um touching him and to get scanned the second time so in that process we found out kind of what was going on with my sister. So um, she had contacted West Nile, either before or during pregnancy. And according to um, this doctor, there's several ways that West Nile affects people. So either you get symptoms right away or you um, and go get um, help from the doctor or you don't even know you have it. And as life goes on, things happen. So she either contacted it before or during pregnancy, which then left my nephew with um, no digestive enzymes of his own. So using the electrodermal screening, using targeted nutrition to help my nephew, we now have him on the other side over a year and he is thriving. We do rotational foods. Um, the thing that caused him to go into anaphylactic um, was dairy. And he, we definitely are very mindful of that. Everyone around him, well, he grabbed his sister's cup a couple months ago with milk. And he is two years old, so he chugged it. Everyone's like holding their breath, like, okay, here's the test. And he had a small rash around his mouth, got hyper, normal for your body to do that. And he never had anything else from that. So what we're doing is definitely working. Yeah, so that's it's fascinating, and it's not help that a lot of people can get just anywhere. And uh, to know uh, that, like your sister didn't even know there it had anything to do with her. And more and more, we're finding out more and more conditions. I'm, I'm the last. We're not going to go mummy guilt here because hey, you don't know what you don't know. And uh, so and and. But you do come into contact with pathogens and toxins and uh, there's dietary things that you do. And we are all connected and it, it does uh, pass along. One interesting thing as I've been working with variety of health coaches and carving out their niche and working with a variety of niches, something when you really delve into this work and work closely, and for anyone who doesn't know, I'm a traditional medical doctor, works in traditional MD, um, medical doctor for 25 years, and uh, and then became a health coach. And I'm like, what? so that's a whole story for another time. Um, but that is my background. And uh, we don't, teach we don't learn or teach a lot of that and I studied nutrition before I became a doctor so I was a little bit different than my other medical colleagues and um and hey when they're having an anaphylactic reaction let's get the EpiPen for sure but there are things that you can do to get out ahead of it and so now as I've been helping and coaching health coaches one really uh bonus benefit of really diving into these niches is I remember having a client and she had Crohn's disease and had had it for decades, but was really on the other side of it. She was in remission. And uh, she came to me wanting to create a program for Crohn's initially. Um, and we ended up creating a program and specializing in POTS because that's what she really wanted to help people with because she was fine with her Crohn's and she didn't really want to go there any, anymore. And, uh, but her daughter had POTS, postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome. So fine, something different. You can read about it if you want. So as a way of getting into uh, to reaching out to other people who might be afflicted with this condition, she reached out into this Crohn's group that she was in and she was just letting, asking people like how their Crohn's was, what was happening and, and happened to be just sharing about her life and happened to mention that her daughter had POTS. Now this was before she'd even switched niches, I think. And three other moms with Crohn's disease had daughters with POTS. So when we pass along our DNA to our children, we pass along more than that. We pass along our gut microbiome too. And that's never going to get picked up in, with all due respect to the medical world, because 
The mom's one patient, the daughter's another patient, the mom saw a gastroenterologist, the daughter saw a cardiologist, vascular doctor, and an endocrinologist. They're not talking to each other. It's not even the same condition and nobody knows that there's a connection. So some people on the phone or listening here uh, in our audience might be like, what the heck is this goofy, goofy, goofy? And so what we tend to, to do is when we don't understand it, we just logically become skeptical. And what I know after years also delving into this holistic world is, you know, there's, there's something to it there. There's something to it there. And so, uh, and so much more that we'll talk about at another time, but, but so I, I, it's not something that's getting picked up. It's not, it's something that uh, mothers, people, children are frustrated with as to not know what to do. And it's something that you got to figure out because you're going to have to eat. So you're either going to struggle with your health, with rashes, with you know, energy, with weight gain, with bloating, or you figure out what you can do. So tell us a little bit more. Well, piggyback on any of that and tell us a little bit more about what that uh what what it is that you do or uh, how does this help people or any any of that that you know because it's not something that I've ever done or anything like that but I know the value of what you do and clearly people aren't flying from all over to find this out if it doesn't work and I know for you if nobody else wants it it's fine because your nephew is healthy and that's the power of a healthy gut and, and, and to turn things around. Yeah. So carry on, piggyback. Yeah. On. So with the electrodermal screening, you know how I said that you find balance, um, find out where your body's balanced or out of balance. And sometimes we just need extra support. Like you said, we have toxins, we have things we encounter. Um, if you're not a label reader, you know, you're ingesting things that you don't even know. Um, and finding using that targeted nutrition to build health. I look at the whole body as a unit and wholeness versus just bits and pieces. Um, instead of going to a doctor for your kidneys or going to a doctor for your bladder, um, stuff like that is we look at it all and find out how we can make all of it work, put it all in balance so that you can thrive. Yeah, that's, that's fantastic. Tell us some of your, uh, so when somebody comes to your uh, center and they can find you at, uh, what's the name of the place and, and is there a website that they can reach out to and contact you at? So Whole and Well Co. is the business, wholeandwellco.com. Um, you can go online, you can see all the stuff, you can uh, click on talk to Rachel and, and have a conversation and see where we can help you in building your own health. Yeah. And tell us some of the, is there a story or something that you can share about, uh, well, your nephews was, was powerful there, but about where once you find out what is the problem, once the screening helps you find out with this, and then when you can do the targeted nutrition that actually is, and it's like, it takes all the years of trial and error out of it, which usually people can't piece it together because there's gluten in so many things and dairy and things they don't know. And it's, it's hard to piece some of that out. When you do the targeted nutrition or some of the benefits or something that you've seen where someone was doing something and then when they implemented this, there was this kind of a result. Is there a story or anything, an example that you can share of what, what this looks like? Yeah, so I had a guy come into to my office about, a year ago and he's like I need your help and I'm like he tells me this scenario his blood sugar is 571 he is a known diabetic he is on metformin um and I'm like first of all I don't really believe that number because you just drove in to my office 30 miles so to prove his um high blood sugar he went and bought some machines brought them back to my office and yes it was high um, now, this client has had a history in medical. He's had prostate cancer. He's had, um, he thought he had something going on with his heart. He had a heart catheterization done and he's, they've told him he's fine. So at this point, I'm like, he's begging for my help. He's right here. So I sit him in my chair, do a scan for electrodermal screening. 
And in that, I find out, I look at all sorts of things from heart function to how your liver is, et cetera, et cetera. And as we're going along and having those conversations and his heart is like barely working. And I'm like, okay, now what, right? So I continue to search and find out why. Um, there was a reason he had bacteria, he had um, parasite and using targeted nutrition so that we can get rid of the parasites, get rid of the bacteria, support what is going on. And fast forward to um, today, he has lost, he's, he's still a big man, but he's lost 70 pounds. His heart is working um, fantastically and he's doing things, he's 70 years old and he has started his new business and has tons of energy. Awesome. So that so that's really uh, a great success story. And I and there's many of them. I know I just kind of put you on the spot there to, to grab one as your internet clocked off and clocked back on. Um, something that I will say is uh, it's interesting. Both you and I both have uh, a traditional medical background. Uh, so as a medical doctor myself, you were uh, x-ray tech uh, for years. And um, and so uh, so so it's interesting that we're kind of that you're doing this work now and I, I'm not an expert in this and as you're hearing these some of these stories we don't diagnose diagnose treat cure prevent any disease that's not really the intent we coach through well, I don't coach people through any health things now other than my family, but uh, you know, what you're doing is coaching people through to success, guiding them on, helping them through that targeted nutrition. So I think that's important. It's, it's uh, any of the medical stuff, you know, that the doctors are saying what they have. And now you're saying, all right, how, what can we do? And especially that blood sugar and to lose 70 pounds is Fantastic. So to, and, and when you're intentional with it and you've cracked the code on it, and when you already know that gut health, poor gut health is the missing link. Um, and so when you can improve that, um, what, what's the saying that you always say about, um, I, I always take it from your farming community, but uh, when you weed, feed and seed, weed, seed, feed and protect. Yeah, there you go. And so that is the, that's the game plan for it. So um, that's fantastic. And so you can see what a difference you really have given this man his life back uh, to not be able to have energy to have 70 extra pounds, that's going to slow you down. And uh, so to, to have that new lease on life is fantastic. So uh, it's, it's tremendous. Now, do you still work with people virtually? If, if somebody's listening to this from somewhere else in the world, I know I have a global audience. Is that something that you can still help people with? Absolutely. Um, I still have clients virtual and still support them that way as well. Yeah. Excellent. So uh, any, anything else that you would like to share with people about um, any other tips, any tips about gut health? Uh, if they were looking at it, I know that now you've taken gut health to the next level where you're super precise and targeted rather than just these general food groups of here and here do more of this and now you're super precision but any just general good guidelines if people are just wanting to get started and improving their gut health and just see how they feel absolutely don't overthink it drink your water decrease sugar and read labels yeah yeah awesome and uh and if people want to get in touch with you uh that's at holeandwellco.com and you're also in plentywood montana it's a tiny town you'll see her business and building there no doubt for sure and uh and uh they can come and check you out and see some of the um the testings and, and screenings that you can offer and uh, that help point people in the right direction. So uh, it, it's been an absolute pleasure to get in touch uh, and, and with you again. And uh, while well, we're continuing to, to see each other uh, from time to time uh, and uh, the work that you are doing is fantastic. And um, uh, if that is something that is of interest to you or helpful for you, that's something new on health coach TV. Uh, you're the only health coach that I've talked to that has gone into this area. It's a new and exciting area. Uh, I know that you've invested a lot in training and learning uh, that, but you saw what it had done for your nephew and you're a believer now. And uh, so you're, you're wanting to help as many people as you can. And uh, that's just fantastic. So thank you for being with us, Rachel.
Thank you for having me.